hey what's up everyone we are here with a video i think pewdiepie did and maybe like a couple other people did but i wanted to do it myself and we're gonna see what minecraft mobs specifically hostile ones uh slash neutral ones pretty much all the ones that can attack you uh, besides llamas i guess maybe i should throw llamas on here but yeah we're gonna see which mobs i could 100 percent take in a fight or have a fair fight with or mobs that would completely destroy me in a fight so let's just hop right into it we're starting with the blaze you know he's right here at the top and i feel like a blaze you know they're on fire they look like they got multiple arms or something a hundred percent i'm i'm getting destroyed by a blaze i don't think this is up for debate unless this was like the minecraft universe and i hit a fire resistance i still think i'm gonna get my cheeks clapped by a blaze so we're gonna put him we'll, we'll put him right here for now okay i wouldn't say he would demolish me I feel like I could get like a punch in there before I burst into flames, but we'll, we'll put them high up there. Next up, we got the creeper. Now this, I don't know, man. This is, this is an interesting one because a creeper, they obviously explode, right? If you're very close to them. But I feel like we could take the strategy that we do in Minecraft, the little hit and run, and I feel like we would be good. But at the same time, you know, one mistake, maybe I slip on one of the hits, it's over for me. That's an explosion. We're dead. It's not happening. So I'll put the creeper, I'll put it like a little bit higher up in the fair fight section because I feel like we do have a chance but at the same time the creeper also has a chance next up the drowned aka the water version of the zombies now i feel like you know drowned they they can't come out of the water and if they come up to like the edge of a beach or something that's free hits i'm getting swings in there for sure his head i'm probably gonna hit his head i can't i could punt his head off these are zombies they're decaying i'm punting his head off if he comes near the beach but let's say you know little old game <laughs> let's say game raiders wants to go for a swim okay bro if one of these things come up and drags me to the bottom it's over that's some friday the 13th shit right there so we're gonna put him definitely higher up because i feel like it really depends on this dude if he comes near the beach like some of them do and they just stuck there gurgling and doing whatever they do then you're getting free hits in but if you wanted to go for a swim you're getting dragged to the bottom not to mention these dudes like fighting hordes pretty much all right next up endermite endermite now we gotta take into account that endermites they teleport right but we also gotta take into account that they're one of the smallest mobs in minecraft we're stepping on the endermite get the fuck out of here next up is the elder guardian you know the big fish of the sea one of the scariest water minecraft monsters kind of i don't know but yeah we got this dude right here and he's got spikes and he's a big fish and he can also hit you with a little like mining fatigue buff so you won't be able to swing your arms i'm putting him up here i feel like 100 percent he would be my ass because if i'm not able to swing my arms what am i gonna do swing my legs underwater let's not forget to mention that we're gonna be underwater fighting him unless he comes above not nah, even when he's even when he's on on the surface doesn't he like flop around like crazy which would make it even harder to hit him all right next up i had to change the eye color of this mob because you know the the illagers and the vindicators and evokers they all look the same and this is the evoker which is the magic spell one 100 percent the evoker is beating my ass i'll put him up here if we catch one off guard maybe we can get a good hit in but you know maybe i'll put it like right here because that, that's kind of dangerous He's evoker's got some very dangerous spells next up the spider now this is pretty much just a giant spider and i already don't like spiders irl i'm not like terrified of them i don't have arachnophobia but you know just insects in general they're always just nasty most of the time but like i don't know bro this thing feels like it could probably be my ass yeah i'm gonna put him i'm gonna put him up here and then we're gonna go ahead we're not even gonna think about anything we're putting him up here too maybe a little bit higher just because the, the cave spiders they they spit poison which is a big factor be 100 percent those two spiders would be my ass next up the pillager these are the ones with the crossbows um these guys their aim they they fight in groups they fight in groups you gotta remember that but their aim isn't the greatest it's not as spot on as a skeleton i feel like but the fact that they fight in groups Oops, I feel like that goes a little bit over the line of a fair fight, but you know, if I catch one in close combat, oh, I'm beating his ass. I'm grabbing his big ass nose and I'm yanking that shit. No homo. Next up, the gas. Hopefully we can see it on this uh, white surface, but we got the gas here. I don't think I could beat a gas. We're talking about fisticuffs for me. We're not, I don't have a bar or anything. All the other mobs, they can, they can keep all their weapons and stuff. But a gas, bro, this thing flies and shoots fireballs. That's, that's just not fair. I'm putting them up to here with the, the elder guardian. Their aim, actually, let's put them down a little bit. Cause their aim is a little bit off. And if, you know, we take the Minecraft physics into account and I could punch a fireball back. You no, know, there's a little bit of chance. So I'll put them like right here. That seems like a good spot. Next up, we got the regular guardian, smaller, but honestly more dangerous. There's a lot more of these guys 
guys. They shoot beams out of their eyes. They got spikes. They swim fast. I think we're putting this guy a little bit above the Elder Guardian, which is crazy. Honestly, we should probably move the Elder Guardian back a little bit. There you go. That, that seems about right. There's a couple mobs in this list that would probably destroy me. No, no chance for me to even think about doing anything. So maybe I'm moving these guys up a little too high right now. Next up, we got a husk zombie. Okay, so when we get to the zombies, besides the drowned, you know, they, they seem like a little bit, they seem like they're getting a little bit easier. These are the ones that we could probably shred, straight up throw hands with. You know, 1v1 is going down. But the husk, I believe they're a little bit more tanky. I'm not sure about that. I don't look at the statistics of Minecraft or the facts of Minecraft too often. Plus, I've spent most of my Minecraft playtime in version 1.7.10. So, you know, when I see some of these somewhat newer mobs, uh, somewhat new mobs to me at least, you now I'm still not used to fighting them or how much HP they have, but I think husk are a little bit tankier. But the thing is, they're a little bit more crusty, meaning if I get a good like punch right there in his jaw that shit's falling off 100 percent. so i'm putting him down here i think i could beat his ass but you know he might he might he might get me with a swing here and there next up the magma cube i don't think this is a fair fight at all i'm just gonna put him here it's a cube made out of magma if i punch that my arm is burning the hell off next up we got the phantom i don't think i would be able to fight a phantom they fly really fast there's usually a bunch of them and uh, i think the best i can do is probably just grab one if it tries to get me like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw ones with a bird that flies past me they're, they're fast you know how often do you see somebody catching a bird with their hands not too often at all so i'm gonna put these guys up here pretty much with the magma cube a little bit higher because there's no way in hell i'm finding something that flies let's let's just get that out of the way next up we're coming to our first like dominant force here that 100 percent i would not be able to beat no matter what and that is a ravager is that what these things are called let's put them up here he's pretty much like the highest you can get yeah pretty much the highest you can get because there's no way i'm beating this thing this thing has a giant mouth it's fast it's strong it has horns and then it usually has a pillager or vindicator on its back something like that so 100 i don't think i'm taking that thing on next up we got the shulker okay so this dude right here is just a head in a box that shoots a projectile every now and then bro all you gotta do dodge the projectile open the box up and then you beat his ass he doesn't have an ass so you beat his face what is he gonna do after that he's gonna teleport i'd like to see him try i would just go chase his ass down if he teleported you're going back here shulker i'm sorry next up silverfish now this is another thing same size as the endermite pretty much very small mob we're putting you over here with the endermite you know the only thing i would give them a little bit more than the endermite is that they they can hide a lot better and you usually find them in groups also but have you seen the silverfish in real life very scary looking not not gonna lie they're very odd looking bugs they're still literally like the size of like a pencil lead i'm stepping on you you're dying all of you even if there's multiple next up skeleton now skeletons great archers they have amazing aim in the newer versions of minecraft but i think a skeleton if i get in the range before he can get a shot off on me or shoot me if i just sneak up to him i grab one of his arms i grab a rib i pull that he's falling apart it's like jenga it's over you pull his spine get a nice yank on his spine you're gonna be yelling jenga because that motherfucker's falling apart but I, i'm still gonna take into account that he shoots arrows I, i'll put him i'll put him a little bit higher than a creeper next up is a slime now this this is a weird one we got us a little a little conundrum here okay slimes obviously very sticky and they seem like they would absorb punches so if i were to punch a slime my hand's probably getting stuck or it's gonna get really sticky and slimy and plus if i were to beat you know say like a big slime up he's turning into a medium slime and then i beat those medium slimes up he's turning into a bunch of small slimes so pretty much i'm getting jumped i'm gonna put him up here he he has a lot of potential to beat my ass or let's say they have a lot of potential to beat my ass next up is the cold version of the skeleton this dude he's just that's pretty much it a colder version of the skeleton um he looks cooler than skeletons I'll, I'll give him that but i don't know he might have the advantage over skeletons because he wears a little bit more clothes making it a little bit harder to pull out one of his rib cages or something so honestly i'm gonna put him a little bit higher than the skeleton next up we got the enderman this is a tall giant freak of nature that not only has got long reach and likes to pick up and steal stuff he can teleport so one wrong move if, even if i do get a hit on, on him this dude might grab me and teleport me to god knows where you may never see me again i'm talking about he can grab me and teleport me to the end and then his homeboys is gonna jump me i'm putting them up here 
Let's put him. Let's put him right here. Next up, zombie villager. I'm beating a zombie villager's ass. I, if I'm beating a regular villager's ass, I'm beating a zombie villager's ass. I hear their weakness is their nose. You punch their nose one time, boom, it explodes. <laughs> Next up, zombie pigmen. Now these dudes. I'm saying multiple because you usually see them in groups of at least two or three. And these dudes are dangerous. They got a weapon, golden sword, which you know Minecraft doesn't do a lot of damage. But I'd like to see you get hit by a sword in real life and then tell me how much damage it does. This dude's beating my ass. Him and his boys. They're beating my ass. I'm putting them up there let's put them up here that might be a little high but like i'm trying to fill in the, the gaps <laughs> next up we got a vex now a vex is a very interesting mob very annoying mob it's pretty much think about it as like a little fly okay maybe a little bigger than a fly but think about it as like a big fly you know you could swat a fly no no problem but what happens if you give that fly a sword then things get a little bit more interesting you swat that fly you're probably getting shanked but i i feel like i could take the hit you know take that little stab and i would still swat a vex but we do gotta take into account that they do fly through walls but i still think that i'm definitely gonna beat a vex's ass so we'll, we'll put him in the middle because i feel like well, a little bit less in the middle because i feel like he's gonna get his hits in or they're gonna get their hits in but i could still i could swatch you like a fly it's happening next up vindicator these dudes are scary they hit you for what like eight hearts nine hearts if you're not wearing armor um i don't know how they like keep a whole hatchet like in their sleeves that's kind of impressive so we would put these guys up here probably i feel like they are they do attack you and then run i'm pre I'm pretty sure that's what they do uh, i haven't had too much interaction with them but i feel like i could probably beat a vindicator's ass if he misses or something you know if i if i'm on if i'm aware of my surroundings you know dodge the axe hit and then punch him in his nose <laughs> next up the witch the witch in minecraft kind of a weak mob unless you're fighting like big groups of mobs and then you got the witch just buffing everyone and hitting you with poison and stuff i feel like she takes forever to attack so honestly i'm putting her under a fair fight i think i could beat a witch's ass same technique hit her in her nose i think she has a wart on her nose too you hit her right there in her wart and in her big ass nose that's like that's times two effect right there next up we got the zombie i think i can 100 percent beat a zombie's ass but they run in hordes that's the thing they spawn when you hit one uh which can be very dangerous but let's say if a zombie takes like a one two punch or one two three knockout you know i feel like i could probably take on a horde just gotta watch your spacing hopefully they don't spawn behind you i feel like i could take a zombie so i'm gonna I'm put it like right here also i'm trying to fill out the gaps next up we got the wither skeleton now this is a taller version of the skeleton and a little bit more tougher in terms of it has a sword and i believe they have more health so honestly i will put it a little bit above the skeleton pretty much near where the vex is uh they do got a little bit more reach because they're taller but they're all gonna still fall down the same if you knock out one or two of their bones they're crumbling for sure next up we have the wither the wither is a three-headed flying beast that shoots explosions 100 percent is beating my ass and last but not least the ender dragon also a flying entity that shoots a lot of stuff we're talking about he shoots like acid there's too many factors in here to even think about fighting it it flies too so like i'm not fighting anything that flies it's not happening but yeah there you go there's my list let me take a look at neutral mobs real quick you know just to see if there's any that attack you i know llamas do so we got to put llamas somewhere all right i added in a couple more mobs here there's probably a bunch more i can add in maybe i'll do another video for like passive mobs but that would just be me beating the shit out of animals and confessing to it but here we go we got a couple more things here let's start with the llama the llama known for its spitting technique you know it can spit really hard and spit really far well actually i don't know how much damage the spit does but it's just some spit you wear some goggles or something bro i am throwing hands with a llama llamas seem like they're assholes low-key so i'm putting him down here i feel like i could definitely beat a llama's ass next up we got a polar bear this is a polar bear i'm getting my ass beat <laughs> all right next up we got the wolf here wolves you know they're they're neutral you accidentally hit one or if they get near some uh, a hostile mob or a sheep or something these dudes turn ravenous real quick but i don't know they're pretty small they're pretty damn small i think i could punt a wolf like i think i could if i get a nice good kick in i think i'm punting it a couple a couple blocks at least next up iron golem big dude long arms made out of iron he's being my ass that's 100 percent we'll we'll put him to just, just put him here next up we have a bee the bees in minecraft they're gigantic but i feel like a nice punch oh they're gone there's no way they would survive a nice punch to like the side or something even a punch to the face like you know the bigger they are the harder they fall but the bee i'm gonna hit him right in his face or right in the side that thing's gonna fall over and just die straight up so i'm not even gonna move it i'm just gonna leave it right there and last but not least killer bunny you know this is a mob that got removed i don't know why it was kind of cool that it was in the game it's a bunny so what if it's killer i'm 
punting it 100 but yeah there you go there's our list you know there's a lot more mobs on the would kick my ass side which i think is 100 true i think most of these mobs will beat my ass also i think there's a decent amount that i would be able to take on no problem um and maybe there's a couple over here that you know i give them a little too much and i could probably beat their ass but we got to take into account that some of these mobs don't play around like you telling me i could fight a bear given a polar bear i don't know maybe i just wait a couple more years they go extinct i wouldn't even have to fight them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i mean i guess shout out to pewdiepie for making a video like this honestly i was watching ido's video of his like of him choosing mascots he could fight and i was like yo when's if i did a minecraft video like that and i looked it up and then pewdiepie and like a couple other people did it already but yeah whoever originally made the fight thermometer or whatever you want to call this shout out to you i don't know who you are but shout out to you this was fun maybe i'll do it with terraria monsters and bosses we'll see i think most terraria bosses would probably beat my ass but yeah thank you guys i'll, I'll see you next time